Often when you think of a hospital setting, the last thing that comes to mind is beauty. Not so at Florida Hospital Waterman. HealthExecNews.com ranked Waterman Hospital fourth in the 25 most beautiful hospitals in the world. HealthExecNews.com is an online healthcare management magazine that rates facilities on their interior, exterior, and health promoting qualities. Florida Hospital Waterman is one of the only two hospitals in Florida on the list. Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies in Orlando was ranked 12th. The spotlight on Waterman moved from the hospital's front entrance to the intimate stage setting at Mission Inn for the Florida Hospital Waterman Foundation's 2012 Celebration of Life Gala. Cocktails, dinner, silent and live auctions all served as the opening act as attendees enjoyed an intimate VIP only performance from 80's pop sensation Starship. This is our third gala event and we're very excited with the way these are growing and uh, the support that we're getting from so many people in our community. So much of what happens in healthcare today requires us to provide services that really don't make economic sense and for a community benefit like a hospital to be able to offer a wide spectrum of services for our community. We need community support. Add to that, candidly, the amount of uh, uncompensated care that hospitals are providing these days. And for us, that represents a substantial amount of money. It is a remarkable thing to have community support that allows us to offer new services, which otherwise we would be unable to do. In the past, when patients needed uh, open heart surgery, they had to go out of this uh, community. Uh, you know, the stress of uh, traveling, being out of town for the families uh, and for the patients. Uh, and being in unfamiliar uh, surroundings and then it's not done there you also need follow-up so having our own open heart my patients don't have to leave it's all done here locally at our hospital uh, follow-up treatment is here with Dr. Gary Allen uh, and the team uh, it's a multidisciplinary team so you uh, watch every aspect of care the cardiovascular surgeons are doing more and more minimally invasive open heart surgeries and procedures, which probably will be in the next uh, step, will be faced by in this combination of procedures between cardiologists and uh, CT surgeons like Dr. Allen. We have uh, everything non-invasively at Florida Hospital Waterman Heart Center, which is basically stress tests, uh, transesophageal echocardiograms, and nuclear stress tests, which is just to make diagnosis and help with the diagnosis pre and post therapies follow up for patients. So that is all done as well as monitors for heart rhythm problems and things like that. I'm very supportive of the open heart program. I've seen a lot of programs during that time, the time, the 25 years that improved our health care here in our community, but this is one of the most important. It's a major thing. Everyone has heard of the golden hour, and of course that's the 60 minutes after someone has a heart attack. We need to raise the money and also awareness, and the Heart Care Center, Open Heart, has cost five million dollars, and the foundation has raised three and a half million, but we still have a ways to go. Hometown Health and Healthy Living Magazine once again partnered as media sponsors of the gala. Has the Waterman Heart Center made a difference in the life of someone you know? You can support the Waterman Foundation and learn about other upcoming community events by calling 352-253-3270. You'll find both of these Waterman stories when you click the News of Note icon on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.